In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate your DTF or DTG art so it can go on color shirts without having to print a big color block, wasting ink, or some of the common issues that come up with transparencies, which is a white halo or haze around your artwork. Seamlessly blending that artwork into the t-shirt with the use of half tones. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'll show you how to separate your artwork, whether it's DTG or DTF, for color shirts and it will work on any color garment over and over like clockwork. So let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. Stop wasting our time, Matt. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have my artwork open that we are going to work with. It's this little parrot image that I found on VectEasy for free just to teach you guys how to do this. Let's make sure that our image is at print size at 300 DPI. So we'll go up to image, image size. If we go over here to where it says pixels, we'll select inches. It does look like it's 13 inches wide by 72 DPI. I want this to be 11 inches. I'm just gonna click resample again. And then we'll turn it up to 300 DPI. Granted, we are resing things up. However, for the sake of making our half tones, let's make it 300 DPI. So let's go ahead and hit okay. It is on a transparent background, which is great. However, we want this to go on a color shirt. So at this point, we're going to have to select the color shirt that this would go on. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to the layers and we're gonna duplicate our original artwork because this is destructive, what we're about to do. So that way we have a copy to go back to. We'll turn off our original artwork layer, which is layer one. Now let's make a new layer and we're going to fill that with our t-shirt color. So I'll hit shift on the keyboard and delete. And let's say this is going to go on a red t-shirt. So we'll come up to here where it says contents and black and we're going to select color. Over here in the CMYK portion, let's go ahead and make magenta 100, we'll make cyan zero, and we'll make sure yellow is 100. We'll hit okay, and then we'll hit okay again. Now that filled that layer with red, representing our t-shirt color, and what we'll wanna do is we'll slide that right on down underneath our layer one copy, which is our original artwork. And don't worry about this watermark for now. I'll show you how we're gonna work around that. Now that t-shirt color we just made, we're gonna take that layer and we're gonna duplicate that as well. So we'll just click on that, drag it down to the little plus symbol, duplicate that layer. We're gonna move that above our artwork. Now this is where some of the magic happens is we're going to go up to our layer mode or our, our blending and we're going to go down to difference. And what that will do is make Anything that is the same color as that red t-shirt that we created, it will make it black. So that way it's a little easier for us to select that red t-shirt color and knock that out of our artwork. Clear as mud. Now what I'm going to do is merge these layers together. So that way we can use this as a way to create our mask to essentially knock out our t-shirt color. So I'm gonna select those three layers. I'm gonna hit Command E and that will merge it all into one layer. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the layer that we just merged together and we're gonna go up to duplicate. Duplicate layer right here, go ahead and select that. Now down here where it says destination document, rather than just duplicating this artwork, we wanna send it to a new document. So just select new and we'll hit okay. Now that we shot that layer over to a new document, we're gonna go up to image mode and turn it to grayscale. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and select the t-shirt color using this essentially as our mask. And whatever you see here that is gray, it's gonna turn it into half tones. So the, the secret here is using half tones to blend our artwork into our t-shirt rather than having to print a huge red box around our artwork, just looking horrible or having any kind of issues with our transitions where in this particular artwork, it, it does have some blends around it with all these paint splatters. We wanna avoid our machines creating a white haze or halo around our artwork. And the way to do that is to turn it into half tones. So we're gonna go up to image adjustments and levels, or you can just hit Command L on the keyboard. Moving forward, if you're on a Macintosh, we'll use Command for PC you'll use control and I'll start referring to some of these keyboard shortcuts. Learn your keyboard shortcuts, people. It'll make your workflow a lot faster. 
So now we're gonna take this white fader down here and we're gonna pull this down up into this little area where we're starting to get some information. And whatever is white in this example is going to be the artwork that we are actually printing. So what I want to do is just blow this up a little bit. Now we're starting to get a little bit of too much of the artwork on the outside. We don't necessarily want to print all this, nor do we want this watermark. So I'm gonna take this little black slider here. I'm gonna slide this back until that watermark goes away. And we still have quite a bit of gray here. And this is where it's going to be. You adjust things to your own taste and liking. I'm going to add more of this artwork. I want less gray, less half tone. So let's continue to slide this fader up. And we're gonna play around with our slider some. Again, this is all going to be subjective to your own personal taste, but I think right there will look quite nice. We do have just a little bit of gray in here that it will turn into half tones, and we're not ending up using too much ink with this particular graphic, so we'll hit OK. If you would like to speed up your separations, avoid having to go through all these steps to separate your DTG or DTF artwork. I have a new plugin for Photoshop called ActionSeps DTX, it quickly separates your DTF or DTG artwork with just a click of the button. So that way you can quickly separate your artwork and move on to production. If you purchase ActionSeps DTX, you get lifetime access to the separations and all updates. You also get access to our community with other like-minded decorators. So that way you can share ideas back and forth, get help troubleshooting, and it will help support the channel so that way I can continue to make free content such as this. Click the link below to find out more and learn more about ActionSeps DTX and how it can help you in your business and speed up your separation process. Now, back to the tutorial. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to image. We're gonna go to mode and we're gonna turn this into bitmap. And this is the part where we'll end up turning all those gray tones and the half tones. We'll hit OK so it'll flatten the layers. For output, we want to have 300 DPI. You always want to check your image size and make sure that your image is at full print size at 300 DPI. In this case, this image is 12 inches wide by 300 DPI. We'll hit OK. At this point, we're telling Photoshop what DPI, LPI, PPI. If, if you'd like a lesson on what half tones are, Leave a comment down below and let me know that you would like a lesson on that. Essentially what it is, is there are a bunch of little dots that are different size replicating the grayscale. DPI refers to the amount of dots per inch. DPI is commonly used in screen printing. So we're kind of trying to really transition our artwork using half tones to make it gradually fade into the t-shirt. You may have to do a test with your DTF or DTG machine to see what LPI or DPI you can hold. Generally anywhere between 30 to 45 works for most, but again, you're gonna have to test that. I can include a test sheet. If you would like that, let me know down in the comments and I'll either do a lesson on that or include it in this lesson. So we're gonna use 35 and we're gonna hit okay. Now that we've created our half tones, which you can see if you zoom in over to this left hand side here or wherever you have gray areas within your artwork, we've created our half tones. Now let's take this image, we'll turn it from bitmap to grayscale and we'll hit OK and we'll hit Command A on the keyboard and Command C to copy everything. Now we can come back over to our original artwork now that we're finished with this difference layer to knock out our red, we can just throw that away. Now I'm gonna take our original artwork. Let's go ahead and duplicate that just by dragging it on top of that plus icon. And we're gonna hit that plus icon to create a new layer. And we're gonna fill it with that t-shirt color. So all we have to do is hit shift and delete. And we already have that red in our foreground color. So we'll hit okay. Now take that duplication of your original artwork, move it above that red t-shirt color, and then with that layer selected, the duplication of your original artwork, hit Command E just to merge that with your t-shirt color. So that way we're basically trying to print some of that t-shirt color with our prints, that way 
it's hard to tell where the graphic t-shirt stops. Now we need to create a mask layer in order to paste those half tones in there to knock the, all that red out instead of us printing that red onto our t-shirt as a big blog. So we'll come down to this little mask icon down here to create a mask. And you'll see it created a mask right next to our artwork. And we'll hold option down on the keyboard and we'll select that mask icon. Now we can hit Command V to paste the half tones that we created for a mask. And if we click on the artwork thumbnail, it will have knocked out that artwork and created half tones. Now, depending on the results that we get here, you can always go back to your mask window here and we can hit undo a few times until we get back to where we're able to, to mess with our layers a little bit. So let's say we weren't happy with those results. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's do another version and try and grab a little less of that t-shirt color. We'll pull it back quite a bit here. And we'll slide this up. So we can give that a try. We can hit OK. Go to image mode. We'll turn it to bitmap. And We'll leave at 300 once more. All of our settings are still there. 35 LPI, we can hit OK. Now let's go back to image mode. Grayscale, we'll keep it to the ratio size of one to one. And let's copy all of this, Command A and C. And we can go back to our mask right over here. Hold Option down, click on it. Hit Command A to select all. Command V to paste, and we'll click our thumbnail one more time. And you can see that we included a lot less of the t-shirt color. And that should end up printing really nicely. Just to kind of verify, let's create a new layer. Let's we'll hit the little plus icon down here, hit Command Shift and delete, and we'll fill it with that red t-shirt color again. And we'll bring this right down all the way to the bottom and we can compare it to our original artwork versus our artwork that is knocked out and turned into half tones. So we'll turn those off and then we'll toggle our original art on. You can see here's our original artwork here and we can turn on our artwork that we turned into half tones. You'll see just how good of a job it did. We can toggle those on back and forth. And you can kind of rinse and repeat to see what the difference is, but this would end up printing really nice. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you learning how to knock out the background for your, your prints going on color shirts for DTG or DTF. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If this was helpful, give this a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other tutorials you would like to see, and we'll see you in the next one. This is fun. I'm going to try some more variations here. I think this is looking awesome.